Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. Yes, Nintendo is back at it again, upsetting their fans, and this time they did so by just simply uploading a brand new video to their official YouTube page. The same video that you see on your screens here. Just the other day, Nintendo re-uploaded their Nintendo Switch Online membership overview trailer and this did not go well with fans whatsoever. You would think that if Nintendo re-uploaded this Switch Online membership overview trailer that there would be significant changes within this trailer introducing fans to new features being offered in this Switch Online service. But instead that didn't happen whatsoever. It's the same trailer and Nintendo just added a 10 second segment at the end introducing Pac-Man 99. That was it. And trust me when I say fans really showed Nintendo how much they disliked this. As you can see here on their official YouTube page, this Nintendo Switch Online trailer was uploaded on April 8th, 2021, 278,545 views, and look at those likes and dislikes, 5,400 likes and 20,000 dislikes. Damn, that's rough. And the numbers could be worse by the time you see this video. Now, I'm not going to go through the comment section, but I'm going to read a comment that I saw in this article that I found on NintendoLife.com. Nintendo constantly trying to re-upload the Nintendo Switch Online overview to remove the dislikes only for everyone to dislike it again is hilarious. The lengths companies will go to convince everyone their product is good without just fixing the product so it's actually good. And I think that's the general attitude that these fans have towards this situation. And they have the right to do so. I mean, in comparison with Sony and Microsoft's online service, there's no comparison with Nintendo whatsoever. I mean, it's really bare bones compared to those two. And in my opinion, you're getting what you paid for. I mean, it's only $20 for an entire year of Switch Online service. And what do you expect, man? It would be nice if Nintendo added Nintendo 64 games, but maybe they're working on that. Maybe we see something like this at E3 2021. So we just have to be patient with Nintendo. Hopefully they add new console game libraries to the system this year and new features, but only time will tell. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for this video. What are your thoughts on everything that was discussed here? Please let me know down in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And if you wanna support this channel financially, become a member by hitting that join button right below this video. It's only 99 cents per month and perks are included. And as always, remember to keep it locked here at Around the Clock. We're here, we focus on Nintendo gaming news around the clock. I'll catch you guys in the next one.